watching Numbskull News. And today I'm going to talk about the Big 12. We're going to rank everybody. This is the time of year where everyone starts to rank all the teams in the conference. So I'm going to do it too. However, I do it a little differently. I'm doing it in a tier list format. So let's go. So in this tier list, we have four, four categories. Number one. Fire. These are teams that are going to catch fire, have an awesome chance getting to the conference title game. Uh, I'm going to say nine wins. Nine is the floor on this level. Nine up. The second tier right here, the second tier. These are going to be teams, all right, where I think they do have a shot at the conference title, all right, but, you know, where could they actually finish? I, I think nine games is maybe their maybe their ceiling is nine games. And on the third level here, these are teams that are just holding on to bowl eligibility. Uh, I'm gonna say they're gonna finish somewhere six and six to eight wins, somewhere in there. So eight wins being their ceiling, and they're gonna barely maybe. They should be bowl eligible, but chances are they will not be vying for the Big 12 title. And of course, you got straight trash. <laughs> All right, these are going to be teams that are not bowl eligible by the end of the year. All right, so let's go. Let's start with the Oklahoma State Cowboys. And we know their running back got popped with a DUI. That sucks. Maybe he gets suspended or whatever. However, I do believe Oki State still has an incredible shot of getting back to the conference title game and doing some work. Nine wins is the floor here, and that to me screams Oklahoma State. And I'm putting Kansas State right next to them. As a matter of fact, Kansas State to me is the favorite to win the Big 12. So, of course, they're going to be on the top level. Uh... I, I, 10 wins or more for Kansas State this year. I mean, there's no excuse. They have the team. They have the quarterback. They got the coach. Let's go. And, of course, I would be a fool not to put the Utah Utes in at this level. Uh, everyone knows about them. Coach, the quarterback. Will the co quarterback stay healthy? I don't know. Right now he is. And until he goes down and it's proven that they don't have any kind of backup that can do anything, I'm going to stick with this. Utah is one of the favorites to win the Big 12. As far as Kansas goes, most people think, you know, look, they don't have a lot of depth. Uh, they're not going to be able to uh, keep sustaining their success and their climb. I think nine wins is the absolute floor for Kansas. They could get hot, especially towards the end of the year. They got a great chance of getting to the Big 12 title game and even winning the Big 12. And of course, I got Baylor as the trash of the Big 12 right now. They've proven to be such. Um, mysteriously, Dave Aranda still has his job. However, I'm rooting for the guy. I'm rooting for the Baylor Bears. I, I would love to see them finish way better. Not in the trash heap, not in the bottom of the Big 12. Uh, I would love to see them make a bowl game and make a, a, a Dave Aranda look like a, a million bucks. I just don't believe it. But I'm rooting for that outcome. I'm also rooting for the Houston Cougars. But they changed coaches. I, I think they probably upgraded coaches. But they're having to rebuild this thing. Uh, I'm hopeful for the future of the Houston Cougars. I just don't know if that hope is going to show itself the very first week. Now let's talk about the Cincinnati Bearcats. Look, I... I don't know. Satterf Satterfield, I don't know. He impresses me in a certain way. Maybe Louis Phil fans out there think I'm stupid, but I don't know. There's something about this Bearcat squad. I, I think they may be able to make a bowl game this year. I am hopeful for Cincinnati to climb out of the cellar and be a little bit better. And I have no great evidence. I can't make a great case. It's just a feeling. I think Satterfield is a way better coach than people think. I think he's a better recruiter than people think. I mean, the first year that he's gone, Louisville takes off like a rocket in the ACC. Now, who built that team? 
Adam Satterfield. Just saying, I, 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 I'm, I may be able to be a believer here, and BYU makes a bowl game. I, I don't give a damn. I, they damn near did it last year. They'll do it this year. Uh, I think eight wins is their ceiling. You know, the, uh, to me, that would be a phenomenal year for BYU this year if they got to eight wins. That's their ceiling. I believe their floor is six. Uh, they're a bowl team, I believe. Iowa State, they had a damn good year last year. You know, in the face of all the adversity they had, they, uh, to me, I think they performed, you know, above expectation last year. I expect them to do the same this year. They got a shot at the Big 12 title game. Now, I don't give them as high a percentage chance as these four on top. But nine wins, to me, for Iowa State, I think that's kind of expected. Somewhere around the nine-win mark. Texas Tech, now, uh, they've been a little disappointing. They were a little disappointing to me last year. I fully expect them to give it a real go to, <laughs> to, to get into the Big 12 title game. That's why I'm putting him here. Now, They'll be a bowl game. They'll, they'll be a bowl team regardless. But I'm putting them here because there's some expectations with the Red Raiders. They need to take a few steps from where they've been. Nine wins should be their floor, which means I would have them higher, but I'm, I am I can't do that. To me, eight wins is kind of the floor. Eight plus. I need to see them around nine or ten. I mean realistically with how they've been recruiting mr mcguire needs to bring it and i believe west virginia now that everyone loves their coach <laughs> i do believe uh they are they are destined to have a, a real shot at the big 12 next year you know as i said i'm putting them down a little bit all right but this from this category right here, all you know, Iowa State, Texas Tech, West Virginia, they all have a shot at winning the conference. I believe there's a shot. I'm just saying, uh, percentage wise, I got teams above them, but the Mountaineers are legit threats next year. That's why I'm putting them where I'm putting them. Arizona, a, a lot of people think Arizona is going to go down a lot. I don't know that. They were a 10-win team in the Pac-12 last year. They're, they lost their coach, but their quarterback is back. He's got weapons. This is a good team. I think this is going to be a really good team. I can't. I have to discount. I, now, going into the year, if they had retained their coach, I would have them at the top level. I, don't, I can't put them there. I can't put them at the top level. But, no doubt... They deserve to be at this level. I say the Wildcats, the Arizona Wildcats, do have a shot at the Big 12. Now, TCU, they're not trash. They, I think they'll be a bowl team this year. They got a good young quarterback. At least we think he's a good young quarterback. I mean, we, we got to see some real evidence besides just a game or two. But I, I have a feeling, I have a feeling, TCU... TCU could be a hell of a lot better than this. I, I was wanting to put them one level higher, but that's my Homer crap coming out. Let me be a realist. All right. Six wins is the absolute floor for TCU. It's bowl game or bust for TCU. They better damn well be in a bowl game, but they can get a lot more. I don't, I don't, this is a team that comes out of nowhere. So, We'll see. They're, right now, they're in nowhere. Let's see where they go. All right, this is the one you've all been waiting for. Where am I going to put... <laughs> I know. All you lovers and haters of Dion. Where should I put Colorado? I can't put them at the top level. Uh, most of you probably think they need to be in the trash heap. I can't go there either. I think I know right where to put them. Look, y'all. <laughs> I, 
I think they can get eight wins. I mean, in all truthfulness, in all truthfulness, they should be right there with TCU next year. But, but. I'm going to buy the sauce for one more year. <laughs> I'm going to be a sucker one more time. I think the Buffs, they, I think they've made some upgrades to that offensive line, and that's the biggest thing they need. Defense, I don't know what they're going to look like. All right, they got some really good skill position defensive players. I don't know about that defensive line. The offensive line should be better, which means the run game will be better, which means Shador won't get sacked 50 damn times. And if that's the case, they're going to win more games. As a matter of fact, it wouldn't be hard for them to get to eight wins. If that offensive line holds up, and I think it's improved, the Buffaloes could be a little scary. That's all I'm saying. So for one more year, I'm going to believe the hype. Maybe I'm a fool. Maybe I'm an idiot. I'm going to do it. Arizona State, I got them I got him as trash next year. Look, I'm going to put them in the trash heap until they dig out of it. Same thing with Baylor, same thing with Houston. I'm rooting on you guys. I want I want all three of those teams to be better. I want every Big 12 team to at least make a bowl game, even if it's the Weed Eater Bowl, even if it's a Great Value Tampon Bowl. I don't care. But I, I'm rooting for that. But in this system, I'm saying they're going to be one of the worst teams in the Big 12. Hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong there, Devil fans. And last but not least, UCF, the Golden Knights. I say eight wins of the floor for UCF. I am a believer. I'm a believer. I want the... I think they, they're my dark horse for the Big 12 this year. That's who I'm picking as my dark horse. They've improved at quarterback. I believe they've improved at quarterback. The rest of the team is coming up. They have a championship level head coach. I believe in UCF. The world is their oyster. It could be their dumpster, but I don't think it is. I think they are coming up. The bounce house is going to be a real, real tough place to play. You know, Utah is going to find that out at the end of the season. But this, to me, this looks like one hell of a conference. One fun son of a bitch in conference. Four teams, to me, at the top of the conference that could win the whole thing. And six teams. Below that, that's a total of 10 teams that would not shock me if they won the Big 12 next year. Right below them, Cincinnati, BYU, TCU. And I think TCU has a shot, a small shot that I have really undershot them and they can do something, and come, like I said, come out of nowhere and be great. Three teams in the trash heap, but let me tell you, let me tell you, that's better than the Big Ten. They got a hell of a lot more teams in the trash heap than we do. So that's it, man. I mean, we're going to find out really soon. We're only a few weeks away. I think at the end of July, you got the beginning of training camps in a lot of these uh, a lot of these conferences, a lot of these schools. Then August. Get ready to rumble. Biatch. So... It's coming. It's around the corner. And I can't wait. Oh, there's some things we're going to find out about the Big 12. But I want to see that viewership number. I want to see the viewership numbers. Everyone tells me Big 12 viewership is going to take a dump. Let's just see it. I, I'm here to tell you a lot of people are going to be disappointed. People that hate the Big 12, the Big 12 haters are going to be really disappointed. But uh, can't wait. Anyway, that's all I got on this crap, and I'll be back with some more crap later. Bye.